There's a chord in a particular song that I've been wanting to figure out for 45 years. Now, you may think like, well, why can't you figure out the chord? Well, I can figure out the chord. I know the notes that are in the chord, but I can't make the guitar sound like it. So this is a thing that's off a Pat Metheny record, just a solo guitar thing that came out 45 years ago on what we call the Pat Metheny Group White Album. And it's a solo guitar piece called April Wind. Now, when I interviewed Pat, before the interview, we were sitting in the lounge and I said, Pat, how good is your memory for tunings and things like that. He's oh, really good. What are you playing on the song April Wind? What guitar is that? Is that your Nashville tune guitar? And he said, yes. And I said, is it double track? And he said, I think it was double track. So in order to actually learn the song properly, you have to have a Nashville tuned guitar. And you're like, well, what is that? A Nashville tuned guitar is something that started, I guess, in Nashville, where you take the strings of a 12 string and you remove the, uh, the low E, A, D, and G, you remove the thick strings, and you're left with the high strings that are up an octave. And it has a really particular sound. Here's the string open. Actually, this is in drop D, but this would be like E, B, those are the same, but this G is up the octave, D is up the octave, A is up the octave, and the E is up the octave, but like I said, that's in a drop D. I actually bought this guitar because this is the same one that Pat used back in the day when he played phase dance. If you know the Matheny group songs, the song he used to open with all the time. Every concert for 20 years, the Matheny group would open with that. And it was done with this guitar on a stand, you can see it in this video of them playing it back then. This is the same guitar. This is a Guild D40C. The C, I guess, is for the cutaway. I've been looking for one of these for about eight months on Reverb to find one that's in decent condition because this is basically around 1980. That's how old this guitar is. And I finally found one and I bought it just to learn this chord and make this video. And here's how it came about. I used to make my kids point to this in the car when this chord would happen in the song. It happens about three times. Check it out. Then, again. Oh, and then one more time. I just love the sound of that. It's beautiful. You cannot make that chord on a regular six string guitar. So we're gonna go in the control room and we're gonna figure out that chord and maybe we'll figure out a little bit more of the tune. Okay, I'm gonna go to the first time it happens in the song. It's about, I don't know, 40 seconds in or so. Right here. Right there. Oh! The first time I played it in the car, I asked Dylan, I said, Dylan, why does that chord sound so great? He's like, well, it's because it's got B and C in it. I said, yeah. And he said, and pretty much everything else has B flats in it. And he's right. Quick plug, if you want to be able to figure out tunes like this or any tune by ear, you should check out my Beato ear training. You can find it as part of my bundle for $99. Link in the description. And the thing that makes it confusing is this, uh, having that high G in the middle of it. And you hear this, you hear that flat nine dissonance in it, which gives it the beauty. I, I could figure out the notes in the chord, but I didn't know how to play it because I didn't realize it was done on an Asheville guitar. do that whole section.
This is what Dylan was talking about. You hear that, you hear it. Then you... It kills me in that... Leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. This was a really fun video.